Hey guys, Crew Blind Leaf, I'm Eric. Rick, I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we are back with season three of The Expanse. Yes. Last time on the premiere, what happened? Uh, fighting out of the, the ship. We had that, right? Like there was the, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the yacht. one ship, it's like, oh no, and there's missiles, it's like, oh no. Uh -huh. like, we'll get on this ship, it's only fit two people, oh no. So they, they just so blew up. Two people yeah. left, and then the ship blew up. Did the other two people get off? Yeah, they're on the Razorback. The other ones were making for what were they making for? They were going back for their, their life pod, jump life pod, pod things. Yeah, okay. Thing. The jump ship, whatever they called it. Yeah, yeah that but, thing. And they were like, they're not gonna shoot us down because they're gonna think that it's you. And then da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. who knows what happened? Who knows? Um, we also have some uh, leftover proto molecule uh, stuck on the uh, not the Rosinante. Yeah, the, on the what? Contorta. Contorta? Con torta. It sounds like some kind of like dish, doesn't it? Like some a Mexican burrito. No, that would be a burrito. I would like a con corta. Con torta. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually a pine tree. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, we also need to go get that giant Mormon ship floating through space. Well, we don't need to do that. I want to go get it. We're not doing it. Drummer. I'm going to do someone that. Else, so. Someone we don't, drummer is gonna we don't ever follow that one girl. She's probably going to go do it on her own. Drummer? We're not going to see it. I want to see more drummer. Yeah. Um, we don't usually see that. Yeah, no. But what we are also going to do is we're going to go to uh, with find Prax's daughter. Daughter. I didn't give a fuck about your daughter, but I do now. <laughs> That's the real fight. Jim. Also, Mars and Earth are at war. War. Huh. Oh, wow. They are heroes on both sides. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Good God. <laughs> ah. Oh shit. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> that was Did creepy. Bad dreams? I want my daddy. I'm oh, cold. I know. I know you do, sweetheart. That's where they bring the people from. Bye bye. Next. Take this piece of shit. There's stuff moving over there, right? Even just. Yeah. Super organizing the pods. Smile on his face. That is. Eric, that kind of looks like one of those that containers is that, that carry people. Thing. You know, that, that goes. Is that's a roof rack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was talking about. Had a radioactive symbol on it. That can't be good. Don't no, we know what we're talking about? They stole this from Shield. The last one I thought looked more rectangular, but that one had definite yeah. Yeah. aerodynamic sloping. sloping on the one side. Jupiter. Ten? What did I say? Io. 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 Io! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's where my head goes. I went there with, right there with you, though. I'm sorry about Kotia. <sighs> Do you think they died? No! <laughs> Hopefully. Then fuck your I love her. <laughs> I like that she's with her though. So yeah. yeah. So like whenever she's like close to the action or anything, she just gets fuck. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I should be on fucking Earth behind a goddamn desk. At this separation, a good pilot would be able to dodge a torpedo. Are you a good pilot? No, I'm a marine. <laughs> yeah. Pilots right. telling me to kill things. Hmm? I'm just gonna take a look around. Hang on. All right, you, you can Ah, I love the way it's gimbled or whatever. Yeah, it's awesome. Come on, it's a racer, right? Oh my god. Oh, make it point. I thought her face was splitting apart. <laughs> what? <laughs> because of the blood right here? I thought it split. There it is. How close? The penis. 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 Contura. The penis, penis contorta. Oh my gosh. Now man. it's, it's now it, that's something different. Eric. Contour. The penis contorta is no longer some kind of dish. It sounds painful. It's a burrito. What you do with it? You could wrap it. I mean, it's wrapped in a taco machine. We're running low on air filters. This is a stretch we got till after I.O. Cool. Oh, and Amos rigged a safety shutter after I.O. to protect the panels in case the apartment needs to be evacuated. Well, it was Doc's idea, too. Well, cool. You get a little bit of extra air yeah. kind of thing? Yeah. All right. All right. Hell yeah. So come on. It's been a while since I worked on a garden. You and Amos. Team! Come on, pick up the signal. Oh, dude, I want those two groups to go together so bad. Uh, it's a identified friend or foe. It's an target recognition system. It lets you know if someone's on your team or not. Dude, I want Gunny and and her on the ship so bad. <laughs> All right, well they picked it up, so. Hey. She's in a... You can't say anything. Quiet. No. I recognize her, though. People will... Ow! If he does not get the care that he deserves, things will not go well for you. Holy 
Shoot. I don't know. Is she a doctor of sorts? Is she the Surgeon General? She could be. That's what she is. Jesus. A lot of people protest. That's a lot to keep back with only 20 guys you got there. Anna, I need your help. Bullshit. She's not happy. Reverend. <laughs> you know that there are not many people that talk to me like that anymore? At least not to my face. He needs some pushback. That's what he needs. We don't want war. I want the people of this planet to feel that God is on our side. Abraham Lincoln hoped that he was on God's side. You see? You always make me better. Will you help me? I'd prefer not to. Oh, so if there's alien life forms, then God probably doesn't exist. Those don't have to go hand in hand, right? No. You might have to throw out some very uh, cherished doctrines, though. Maybe some beliefs that he's like, well, these don't work anymore. Mm -hmm. Someone lied a little bit. I'll give you some preliminary thoughts. Mrs. Claus, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Fuck. From the Santa Claus 2 and 3. We helped try to find your daughter. I don't really have a say in this. Yes, you do. You're part of this crew. So we just go back to business? Can you look him in the eye and tell him that whatever this might be is more important than finding his kid? <sighs> I did that once. I'm not doing it again. Damn it. Now pick him up and go get the kid. Just do both. Do it for right? Miller. I do both. Do it I for see where he's coming from, though. What is that from? It's a good conflict. Terran Wright uses the hybrids that could lay waste to all of Mars. <laughs> That's an extreme scenario. That's exactly what he wants to do. That is the realistic scenario. Yeah, let's not give this to anybody and destroy it. It's not good to you. Too powerful for them to destroy. Let's give it its own family. I mean, let it live in peace. He doesn't want it to be a weapon, right? Is that his ultimate goal? He wants to evolve humans. Like, he wants hybrid to push humans where they don't need oxygen and stuff. All hybrid pods are ready for transfer. Hybrid pods. Where are they sending the hybrid? Keep clenching your thighs. If you're hitting on me, I'm shattered. But I have neither the inclination nor. Huh? What does clenching do? It keeps your blood moving around rather than pulling up in the back of your legs. Is anybody else clenching like their thighs right now? Always. Don't try to distract me like I were a child. It forces you to breathe. Do anything, just don't pass out. Relaxing is what gets you. If I die, make sure you don't. You have to die. You so better not die, I'm pissed off. What really happened now? That character in the show. That's your job, I'm not letting you die. But imagine her and Amos having to work together, shooting and killing everybody. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm gonna clench my thighs just thinking about it, man. We're on the same side. Which side is that? Humanity. The right side. Oh, fuck, don't die. Fuck. Ma'am? She had to slow down. Uh, okay. But now they're gonna hit the green, the green. Shit, here we go. Torta has defenses. I know, it'd be great if the Contorta showed up. Uh, they shot missiles. Shit. Oh, what a sink. Brace yourself. Where's that, that hey. Where's that penis? Hey, that, it's that, name change. That this is me. Does that work better for you, Eric? No. I want to go Rasamante when it shows up. I need the penis. A lot more. Another ship just fired. Oh, off. No, they, they showed ship. up. They fired on those torpedoes. Yeah. Please, God. It's gotta be them, right? It's them. They wouldn't say, oh no, another ship without showing the ship. That's like when I had my appendix dropped. You whistled? I couldn't do anything. I couldn't seem to get any words out. I just whistled. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's what happened. My parents like, what's that noise? Wow. They blew up. Stopping those symbols. <gasps> Asking where they go, maybe? That's not how those things usually work. Whoa! What the hell? What the fuck? Have 
Information confirmed. Turbars for two of theirs. Copy that. Our other six are protecting the Razorback. That was the easy part. Alex, I'm coming up. The only reason we're in this scrap is because you broke the tie. Ah. Those people cried out for help. Couldn't ignore that. He's a, he's a doctor, right? Yeah. Yep. You can't save everyone. He's a... Scientific, not a medical doctor. <laughs> not latched all the way. Oh no. You notice that? Is that gonna come undone and smack? No, I'm someone? sure it's fine, Eric. Probably nothing's going to happen. The put a molecules in it, try and get out. Oh, Dude, I love these guns. Galactic punishment is still a war crime. Look it up. Well, it's important to be reminded of that every now and then. Oh, there are war crimes. <laughs> what do you mean by that? It's important to be reminded that you shouldn't collectively punish everyone for one person's crime. Every now and then, but not all the time. Yeah, don't remind me all the time. Yeah. When does I gotta do this shit, okay? How you doing? I'm fine. I think I'm getting used to hygiene. Or I dropped up into one G when our escort showed up. Shit. <laughs> if that oh, kills shit. someone, I'm gonna be so uh, mad. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Stay in the damn seat. Okay. No. Oh, oh, God damn it. I don't so like that. Do some high G turn oh ball. no. Ah. Oh, someone's gonna die. This is already a hard thing. Yeah, I know. We gotta complicate it more. Man, it's pretty. Ah! Please don't get stabbed by that giant drone. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit. Oh! Ah! Oh, that's a In the panel. Oh, How are you gonna reach that? Alright, at least someone didn't get stabbed. It's just more suspense. Just suffocating in the cold, dark vacuum of space. It's not dark. They're inside. These children are the key. Why are they the key? Because they're manipulable. I mean, Julie controlled it, right? Whoa. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that doesn't seem cool. I mean, what if, if you did that, what would you think? It seems kind of cool. Do what you have to do. Like, what the fuck? Look at that! Isn't that cool? No, nope, I'm gonna be Spider Man now. Come on, man! Kate, Kate, what are you gonna do? Hang in there, I'm coming to get you! Jeez. 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 Ah! Oh, jeez! Uh, dude, the way they're doing this gag across the cut is so good. It's like the gag, dude. Demon Slayer so house. Good. Who's laughing, Eric? I am! Oh my gosh. Oh, shit! Oh! The surface the area is so big! Hitching the dick. Keep going. Uh, shit, no, no! Holy oh, shit! I am a hero! Fucking god! Oh, Hang on man. Just Hang on to that. Yeah, that's the most dangerous piece. Don't let that go. Woo! I can't believe you caught it. Guys, the UNN ship is getting too close. Now? Now! It's now! Away. It's away! Box oh, one. Are they Box two. Are the hammer or whatever? The hammer lock? Is that the plan? I don't know. But those are going after it they're too. They're like Looks like room for another rough ride. I think they're going to detonate them all at the same time. Maybe. And that ship is going to fly into it. Ooh, through the... Smoke cloud? Chicken.
come out of the anus. I know. Wholesome. <laughs> and scary. <laughs> it's like, you, you better be a good parent. Okay, okay, I will. Ah! It's happening. They're literally bridging these two worlds. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you in? Okay. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> like, right, motherfucker! No, no, no. Alright, so how's this gonna go? What? What's happening? Just save it. Oh, okay. Christians. Yeah, fainting. Alright, she's just going to. Put it! Wouldn't that be crazy? Uh -huh. Like you're just being pushed to the medical center, but you don't have to be on anything, because they can just push you through stuff. <sighs> Hey, thank you for saving. Help her, please. Christian. That is. Ah! Now it's good episode. Okay. Dude, that, that was so cool when they, like, did their... Imagine the... It's like a scene from The Fast and Furious. Yeah. They just caught their back wheels. <laughs> or something. But it's awesome. <laughs> the real danger was within. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Didn't close that fucking door. They didn't close that door. And there's they still have put a molecule on their ship they don't know about. Dude, those things need to be like like uh like Back. gas for your car. You know how like you put it in when it's shut, you like click click click, you have like three clicks. Yeah. Ah no it's shut. Sure. That's what they need. They need uh, that. That way you put it in it click click click. Okay. Yeah, but he on. didn't get to the click click clicks. He exactly. Just, uh, how many clicks were there? Were there clicks? There were no if clicks. If there would have been clicks on that lock, you know, get to the clicks. Click click click. Okay, it's good. It needs to be a thing anyway. where like he wasn't gonna latch it. If he had to hey, turn to the clicks, you and know. He, no I mean, clicking. turn till it latches, then you know. He okay. didn't do that. Yeah, well, the clicks is a signification. You need you need that. It needs the, the chunk and then the psh noise that it's supposed to make. It needs to be a it thing that's fly, like... Fly. It, it makes the noise. There's no, there's no, there's no pressurizing. It needs to be a thing that's like always locked that you have to like press a button to open, get your thing out, and then you let go. It goes... You know? Automatically or something. My gas tank actually does something like that. What? Yeah. Like it's always closed and then you just put the nozzle in and it opens and then as soon as you take the nozzle out it closes again. You don't have to do anything. Yeah. They needed Carmen Mitchell to tell him to shut that fucking door. Ah! That's his name, right? <laughs> I'll say most gas tanks are like that, though, aren't they? As far as like putting the actual thing into it, it's Which, just a matter. You don't mind have to open it. Yeah, no, it, it's always closed. But yeah. when you Cameron when it enters, Mitchell? Cameron, I don't know how it works. Yeah. It's just fucking science and magic. But it's not magic. The first <laughs> one was right. Science. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, I loved it. I'm excited to see what happens. Like Holden and Christian are. Aware of each other, yeah. At least, so we've Christian. got that going. For Christian's us. not super aware well, right now, but and she was working this. with um, Fred Johnson, yeah, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Which and they, she was part of the giving the missile kind of thing, right? Like she mm -hmm. was on that side of things. So they've been kind of working on the same side this whole time. So I know. I'm excited to see what they do. Here. And Gunny's on here too. I like Gunny. I like that. she'd be a, like. And they're going to IO like that. If they're if they're going together, yeah. Like they're not going to like Christian being there's not a big help or mm -hmm. anything, but them going together. And she's after Jules Mao, which that was, he's there. So, like, all of them, like, it's all yeah. colliding in the same spot. Like, also, they'll automatically believe her story about the sixth man, you know? I feel like our A-team is definitely missing a face as well. Like, they need a this person who can use diplomacy and mm. that's yeah. sort of skill Someone set. who's not, like, a belter or an old Mars dude or some guy yeah. who's just kind of crazy and likes to shoot people. So like, need someone with charisma. Christian, oh, she also has that edge whenever she's in danger. Fucking shit. <laughs> uh, new character, too, this episode. Dr. Anna, Anna Volavolov. Volavodov. 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 It works. Volavodov. She's a doctor reverend. Yep. Reverend doctor. Reverend doctor. Doctor and reverend. He... And speech writer, apparently. Like, when he was giving that speech, yeah. was he just wearing a white shirt, or did he have, like, a a collar uh, for, like... I don't a, think he had a collar. A minister. Okay. It seemed I like he was just... That was, like, kicking off his political career, or got him to where he is. saw a small screen kind of far away. Yeah. I just saw white around the neck, and I thought he might have been, like, a... Um, I mean, she had, like, the, a, the necklace, and I think that her wife, or whoever, also had the same necklace. Is the necklace the part of the their church thing? I don't know. I assume that they're just Christian. 
Christian. Speaking about Old and New Testament, you know. Well, they weren't on the Mormon ship. They were not. Yeah. Good I, point, yeah. Rick. I don't. So, I don't. They're probably not <laughs> Mormons. Because Mormons. Mormons have another testament. <laughs> Dude, the conversation that they had too, where like I just didn't get his point. It was like, well, we need to be reminded of that from from time to time. It was like, but she just said that like was collective punishment. Is a war crime? War That's crime. what you need to be yeah. reminded of from time to time. Is war oh, crimes? Oh yeah, there like, are war crimes. Yeah, I forgot. Well, I, I think like his idea <laughs> is that he has these feelings too, but she's going to be the face of them, so that when Aaron Wright gets pissed off and moves against people, he moves against her, not him. You know, Maybe. she she can like bring those things up. She can be he, almost as if that he would want to say them. Or, like you said, like, I just need to be, I need that conscience. I need to be reminded of these things. That's why you're there. And he's like, you know, yesterday without someone, I might not have thought about that. Like, yeah, but with the qualifier from time to time. Yeah. It's like he doesn't want to hear about it all the time. Yeah. Sure. It's it's going to be the, the the devil and the angel on the shoulders, right? Like, you got the Reverend Doctor versus Aaron Wright. I mean, it's because Christian's not there. We need to have that other side, you know? And this is a... Yeah, well, it More. seems to be some kind of like friend from mm-hmm. the past. I wasn't sure if at first it was going to be like some kind of like ex relationship or something, mm. or I don't know. There's yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the relationship was in the past yet, but yeah, I have a happened. feeling he chose like his career over his, his career friends. over the ideals. Yeah. Like he he might have gotten started in politics to change things, and make things better, but like eventually an he abandoned those in order to rise in the ranks. Sure, she definitely seems like an activist. Like, if she's writing yeah. speeches like that, then she's coming from a place of, like, wanting to do good. And Having a moral and, stance. Yeah. yeah. Now, I mean, his line about, I want people to be convinced that God is on our side, as opposed to Abraham Lincoln's, we hope we're on God's side. Yeah. You know, like, he see that line makes it sound like he's, like, wants to use the religious, and, or the religion and people's beliefs for his benefit, mm-hmm. as opposed to right. being on that well, side because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. One, one implies God should be with us because we're right. Yeah. The other one implies I hope that we're right and we are on God's side. Yeah. Whereas yeah. Like, like Abraham like, well, may be like, you know what, we're not on God's side, we yeah. need to change some things up. Kind it's of like thing. when you That's have a king idea. that conquers and wins a war and then they, they at, to, to say, like all the peasants like, why would we listen to you? Because like, God said so. You know, I am divine. Might is right. He the, wouldn't have won if he didn't have God's will. The, you know? the musketeers. Yeah. Right? The, the uh, cardinal. Bad Cardinal dude. Yeah. Richelieu. Richelieu. I don't know his name. Tim, Tim Curry. Curry. <laughs> yeah. That Charlton was the character's Heston. name. <laughs> <laughs> what? Charlton Heston. Oh, is that from like an old one? Yeah. I just know the Chris O'Donnell, Keeper Sutherland. Uh, oh, wow, wow, wow. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen was in it, but I was trying to think of the other guy who's in West Wing, mm-hmm. who was the I lawyer. His name ever. Jeremy. What? He's not even in that movie. <laughs> he was in Mask, uh, the, the Man in the Iron Mask. He's a yeah, known. Right. He is. Jeremy Irons is in the Man in the Iron Mask? Yeah, he oh, yeah. plays uh, never the, seen the Preacher one. I know Leonardo DiCaprio is in it, right? Yes. That's, that's all I need to know. Yeah, and uh, the dude from Con Air. What's his name? No, Nick Cage. No. no. Silas um, the Virus. Dave Chappelle. Uh, Malkovich. John Malkovich. Yeah, John Malkovich. Okay. I was going to say... Uh, fuck. Now I forgot his name. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> fuck! <laughs> John Cusack. <laughs> oh. Dude, the drill scene, like the whole like that stuff, and oh. him, him like going across, but then like just get, like he caught that shit. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> Can't believe he caught it. It's a good thing he went down and landed like this, uh-huh. so that yeah. you could see it's coming at him. I don't understand how he had oxygen, but the doc didn't. Well, I think what had happened was that when he disconnected his here, there was it a, there seals was a seal. it. Yeah. Whereas his got disconnected here and was there's no seal on that side. It's expecting to it's always be connected. So it was something. venting all the air. So it was venting out on the far end of the hose. Whereas oh, gotcha. when he did Makes this, sense. it closes it up and he had whatever oxygen he still had, I guess. I don't think he had oxygen in the suit itself, but maybe he did too. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, he probably just had what was like residual, actually right? in the suit around his body. Like what had been pumped in already. Yeah. Like, you know, the air that's in the, the sumo suits. Yes, a sumo suit of air. That makes perfect sense. To That's me. what I want to breathe in. Sweaty and hot. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like burnt plastic. Have we heard the term the hybrids before? Um, That's what they're calling the blue hi- people. Hybrid right? pods, right? Those things. Well, the hybrid pod is what's taking the hybrid to 
something, right? They're I launching. Think, Isengard. Yeah. Can't believe you got that. That's a meme and a Lord of the Rings reference. <laughs> yeah, um, but I believe we've seen the word hybrid on, like, the data pad thing on that the Christian had. It said Project uh, Cerberus. I thought that said hybrid, Not but Cerberus. I think it's the first time it's said. Caliban. Caliban. Mm-hmm. The other C. Hey, Mr. Caliban, Caliban. But, yeah, all of these uh, children have the same rare genetic immune, immune deficiency, yeah. which we kind of knew about that. But it's the one that specifically only appears on that moon. Ganymede. Ganymede, which is interesting. Yeah. It inhibits the proto molecule. Yeah. Yeah, so I wonder to what extent, like, what that means. Like, it just doesn't take full control? I don't know. Like, what's But I mean, what's those being kids. Inhibited? Well, inhibit means, like, it stops it from reaching its full potential. Yeah. Right? Or Sh- slowing it down. Sure. Yeah. I mean, like I a mean, power inhibitor? Yeah. It's, it's lessening the power, right? Mm-hmm. But, like,. Is it just slowing down the protomolecule, but it's still acting? Is it inhibiting certain aspects of the protomolecule? It might be. Because that's a possibility like, too, right? Like, if it's the in- ability to like break a system down and rebuild it. That's why the yeah, creatures are like, still humanoidish. Yeah. It, yeah, maybe. But like, They're are those to- ones failed yeah. or are those ones successful? Like, the things we saw before, is that because those kids had those and those were inhibited mm-hmm. versus like what we saw in Eros, where like it just started like taking over and like. That's what I imagine. Like, or... yeah, it, it, it stops it at the point of like it still keeps its like humanoid form, and doesn't break down further, and then start breaking other shit up. And but it's still after like the radiation and stuff. I yeah. think. So, like, I think the one that we saw on Ganymede that took the trip on the Rossi. Mm-hmm. I don't think that was a perfect one because it still had the bomb in its chest. Now, the kids they said was that those six specifically that he showed, or is it just like. A bunch of kids that he has. Well, I mean, how many kids are there on Ganymede that well, he was able to treat? I don't know who all he has. I just know, like, at that point, he's like, these kids right here are special. And I he, think, had, he had, like, six of them on that. I think screen. those six kids are probably the, the perfect matches Maybe. with the genetic defect. They have take advantage far of. more capsules than six on those racks in that room behind them. Sure, yeah. but... That doesn't necessarily mean that they're all filled with kids. They True. could be other test subjects and, and other projects that they're working on. Could they give that genetic disease to other kids? Sure. Is it a disease you can like pass on to someone else so that then you Rare can... genetic immune deficiency. I don't it know. It only happened on Ganymede, so it's something environmental. Mm-hmm. Like can... So if they could discover how to replicate those circumstances... We talked about CRISPR at one point like... in this show. CRISPR, using that, you might be able to... Like synthesize or, or make something like that. Can you that. make it and genetically like change? Yeah. yeah, CRISPR is just changing genetic code. Cause well, I mean they've got the like the cancer cure, right? Yeah. So that like it must have yeah some kind of technology. I mean, there's some immune like diseases that can be treated. Yeah. I don't but think there's they've... other ones that aren't right. Like there's some things like I think yeah. asthma is a type of like immune like mm-hmm. deficiency problem, but it yeah. also like it you can't just Pass someone asthma. I would say they certainly can't do it yet because all of their test sure, subjects, it is genetic, though. like your kids and stuff, can also get that. Yeah. Kind of stuff. It also falls in the line with like there's like asthma, eczema, and a few other things are all like in the same genetic family. Yeah. So yeah. like if you have asthma, you could maybe not pass on asthma, but you could yeah. pass on like eczema. But you can't give it to like your spouse who doesn't have it. Yeah. Like so like it's not yeah. transmutable. Yeah. But it is. I would say uh, like congenital. Maybe in this world it's possible that they one day can like change people's genetic code to give them that, but they certainly can't yet because it's all just kids that they've found that have it, you know? And they're not even 100% sure at this point that it will work, I mm-hmm. think. It, it sounded like it was more, it's promising. Theoretic, Theoretic yeah. I also I wonder been yet. what the defin- deficiency is or whatever that it only forms on Ganymede. Like, is mm-hmm. it related to the oxygen or the plants that they had there or something? Or is it, re- like, you know, the, the environment must do something that Some when they get pregnant and then get born there. Is it, what, they're being born there? And is if it's it all children and they're relatively the same age group, maybe it took, like, a generation or two Yeah, to isn't develop. that, like, build up before it happened? So. Is it, like, a specific combination of heavy metals that the yeah. mothers had in their system sure. on Ganymede when they were giving birth? You could have it also Absolutely. where, like... Traces of the protomolecule could have been of, like around that caused this immune deficiency, and it's more True. like an evolution to be mm-hmm. able to survive it longer or something. You know, like yeah, maybe I don't know. I mean, there's no saying that um, Phoebe Station was the only one that was testing things. Was was 
well, I mean, they found it in the ice, right? There's, there's no saying that that's the only place that had it. You know, sure. it could have, there could have been some kind of ship or missile or something that impacted on that and like splattered and proto molecule might have landed on other planets. Maybe. Maybe like mutated. I mean, what they told us before seemed to be that that Phoebe station came and carried it, but could they have been digging and stuff and someone took it off it to somewhere else too, like yeah. transporting, right? I mean, it was Phoebe Station was originally for ice. Is that what it was? Because it was like an ice asteroid thing. It was a research station. Okay, I thought it was ice first, and then it turned into a research station. But either way, I mean, if you're transporting people or water or any of that kind of stuff back and forth, you could have a water delivery come in, then they go to Ganymede, and maybe they could transfer things too. Before they realize what there was, or not. Maybe it's something to do I with the not bugs. Anything at all. It's a theory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe something to do with the uh, the chrysalis that was on that plant. Maybe it's that specific thing. Yeah, that was an interesting, like, dream sequence thing he had. Like, he said that he was dreaming about the kid, that burn up, but I didn't get that from that dream initially. Because I thought it was more about May, and then the grass, and then there was the bug. Like, the evolution, right? Like, yeah, well, like, yeah, ask her, like, do you want to fly? You know? Yeah. But, Don't you want to fly one day? I don't know. The, uh, the chrysalis is interesting because it's like a metamorphosis thing. So, yeah. like, it, maybe he's dreaming and hinting at, like, the idea of, his dog Bless is you. turning into that blue thing, right? Like a, there's a metamorphosis that occurs. To well, that's make what it we happen. thought originally, but I was wondering if maybe the the bug itself, rather than being a metaphor for metamorphosis, that it could be the actual inception of the genetic thing. I don't the know. Autoimmune thing. I mean, if if it's something that had to go generations, this thing doesn't seem to be as as found. The proto molecule doesn't seem to be found and spread for research purposes. It seems like we've kind of seen the start of that with, uh, damn, the ship in the first season that uh, Julie Mao was on and stuff. The uh, the Anubis? Yeah, the Anubis and all that. Like, that seems to be, like, the first start of it, like, spreading and then taking it other places, it seems to be, but Is there, it's hard to tell. There's a 0% chance that Julie was born on Ganymede, right? Yeah, I don't, yeah she was She was Earth. born on Earth, I'd assume. Jules Mao and his family. I just wonder, like, like why man. she was special when it comes to... Molecule. Why would she right time, right place? And I don't. Th- unless she was killed by it, and then part of her consciousness somehow was absorbed by it, but she's not controlling anything. She but, was just infected and killed. Was in the forefront of it. Sure. It also could sure. have been that she was the earlier one on she Earth. She was the first primary it. host. Um, it also could have been that she had it for a long time before, like moving on. Mm-hmm. Um, or it could have also been and whatever laser. shit the uh, doctor dude did. When he found her, maybe he did some things, took some samples and whatnot, and it altered some stuff, too. She's also the only one that specifically got, like, supercharged, too, with yeah, those lasers. Well, she wasn't, like, she wasn't radiated the same way as, like, those that room full of people, mm-hmm. right, that they closed the doors on and yeah. radiated them. They so, just like, shot him with radiation. They yeah. shot her with some kind of laser. So, I mean, I, I suppose it's, it's a possible th- theory to have, but I, I don't think anything really says that there's anything special about her, like... That gave her a type of control. She was just, it was just right time or wrong time, wrong place, really. Maybe, yeah. We're not really sure. We haven't seen anything like that from any other situation, yeah. but it could be a mixture of like, that's the first time we saw it kind of being able to grow unchecked, mm-hmm. and maybe it needs something to attach to. Like the other instance before that that we had was that ship with the reactor, but they shut the reactor down, so it wasn't getting fed anymore, yeah. and it kind of went stagnant. You know, like. Maybe things like the the best one now is going to be whatever's going on on Venus, where Eros also crashed into. Of like, what's going on there when it's just able to keep kind of doing whatever it wants to do. Like, it's not that it doesn't have power source or anything necessarily, but I don't know. Man, another this is probably a more wild theory, but a reason that it could have appeared as Julie might be because it seems to have had some type of like I don't know if psychic is the right word connection, some type of like ability to, you know, read a mind or something. I don't know. It's it's science, but we don't understand it. But maybe because it was specifically Miller that was coming, it was Julie Mao that was chosen to be seen, you know, because he was so obsessed with Julie. Yeah. But that's more wild theory. I would put that at, like, way low on the theory scale. And at one point here in this episode, uh, they were talking about how the military is sending reports to the press. It made me think, like, you know what? It's interesting, because, like, in wars here, you have independent press in war to do reports and to keep people accountable and stuff. But 
do they have that in space? Like, can the precious go out and, you know, do that kind of thing? We haven't seen anything like that. It's got to be harder. We've only seen independent. We have seen independent doctors (coughs) trying to go help. That we found out weren't actually independent. But if that's the case, then war must be fought so much. I mean, it's it's, it's terrible now, but, like, controlling information is a huge part of war. They don't have to. Do they have to worry about press at all? The one thing, too, is, like, most of the war stuff is going to be happening over key locations. There's probably not a lot of wars occurring, like, in the middle of of space mm-hmm. because at that point there's like there's nothing you're doing you're just yeah. you're just fighting in space you're not fighting like, over anything yeah you're just fighting to kill each other yeah it's like if you're doing like king of the hill kind of stuff right like you're not going to fight out in the middle of nowhere you're going to fight closer to the point you're trying to control and whatnot yeah. and then push them out um so most likely being able to get reporters or doctors to places like that is is a better chance than like thinking of like space and just people mm-hmm. just fighting anywhere in space yeah. like fuck, that could be anywhere you know in between nothing Mm-hmm. But most likely, you're probably not going to have sneaky shenanigan yeah. war like this here that we had where they were out in the middle of nowhere mm-hmm. because they were meeting secretly, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, like, even in ours, with the free press, like, the government still puts out statements and statements stuff, yeah. And but I was just like, what, is there another number side of casualties that, you know? and things like that. Like, is there a lowest lane in this world that's going sure. on and stuff? Sure, yeah. But there's, like, you know, there's that line, too, of, like, here's what the government says occurred. Versus here's what their government says mm-hmm. occurred. Versus here's what like a a person free, who doesn't have a political interest, free press with no political interest being there. Yeah. But there's also that hard point of like, is this press free of political bias, in their reporting on just like what they saw and what the truth was versus like fake news? You mean? No, no, not <laughs> not that. Eric. Great, another great episode. I'm curious about this new character, Hana, <laughs> but I'm most excited that we have uh, Gunny and Ava Sarala. On the, I keep, I can't, I don't want to say the new name. I like the Rosamante. Contorta. The Penis Contorta. Penis. Sounds like. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe for more like, uh, expanse. Uh, we have a lot more oh. coming out. There's four more episodes over patreoncom mindwave right now, and down in the description, you can find links to uh, Patreon, our, uh, our and our Twitch.